What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off what happened last time, um, I defeated this stack over here in Brest and now this force under Gaylord Darren is going to head east. And then I also laid siege to and captured Vienna. And they're very unhappy about it, but they might be a bit happier when I get rid of the university. No, I'm going to have lots of rebellions. Um, which is only right. Um, but yes, that things seem to be going okay for now. I'm pretty sure I... I'll maintain siege there for now. Um, yes, things seem to be going okay. Um, the Prussians are still milling around in this area. Um, but I've still got a few... I guess I've got one stack threatening Cologne. Ready and waiting order. I've got a couple of stacks here they are kind of just holding, doing nothing, so they don't push down this way. They found a gap, they've started to funnel people through. Um, so it's tempting to run people here to act as a blocker. Um, so you've got you, you, you. Put them here as a blocker. Any further orders? Your orders. Forward! And then you are going to go to this army. But yes, I've got a feeling Amsterdam is about to withstand another siege from the Westphalian forces. Um, but that's okay. Because um, I'm about to... Well, yeah, see, I don't want to attack it because they got the mortars. But I've got... I've got some howitzers, so I could potentially outrange them. No, it's not so fun. Research and tech. Let's make sure. No, if you're being destroyed, and you're being destroyed. I have no grounds, and you're being destroyed. I have no need for research because all of my these last two research are the only two pieces of research left in the game. So let's hit end turn. Oh, my regions that currently weren't paying tax pay tax. So my money, money worries have gone away somewhat. So they've left. So they've got nice. They've got. Yeah, let them let them raid away. Aha! Uh -huh, oh, they've. Okay, so they'd be, be they'd be attacked from lots of directions. So why don't you fall back? I need to pull that army away from the border then, because they are also quite isolated. They are moving forward in force, but I'm more than happy to let them raid. Mainly because we are smashing in their rear, rear territories. And sorry Bavaria, you're not going to be independent for very long. No way. I suppose they're making the call. They don't want to push east because they can't stop me. So they're trying to push west. And it just won't go well for them either. Because I will defeat them. And eventually, because I need to I need to polish off the uh, Indian Peninsula, I am still at peace with the Ottomans for now. Um, to be honest, I'd like to have crushed Prussia before I attack the, the Ottomans again, because they have many, many stacks of troops. And at some point, we got to the awkward question of the Russians. What do I do about the Russians? Well, I'll tell you what I do to the Russians. I invade them. Um, so I'd like to swarm over them like a load of angry bees. Angry American bees. You want me to give you 170 grand? No. Because you hate me anyway. <laughs> That's right, you take your troops away from mainland Europe. You drop them off. You drop them off elsewhere. Oh, they come Russian religious people. I think that's their religious people. The Orthodox ministers? Or are they really or is that their their um gentlemen and such? Oh and I forgot this. The Persians also declared war on me. The cheeky little scamps. Oh, and they're trying to assault me. My work, actually, because my 
force is really rather depleted. But we'll meet him in battle nonetheless. If I've got a breach, I'll feel a lot better of myself. If we lose Baghdad, then... A couple of fights on the battlefield and I'll be able to... If I've got, like I said, if I've got a breach, I'll feel alright. Because I can just get everything to focus fire on the... On the breach. Well, the trouble is, you have a second force coming in, in reserve, coming from a similar direction. I hear a breach. I hear smoke and fire. There it is. So, Let's deploy our strongest units for now on the walls on the assumption that they might still try to go for a conventional attack. Well, to be honest, do I let them have the walls? Do I not even bother? So with these units, these little specks of units, I probably want to do things like this. Guards, heavy hour, it says what I need though. So then let's get. Turn fireball off. Let's run my. get my cavalry out of the way. Yep, okie dokie. Keep my other, my other guns in reserve. Whew. This is going to be a bit touch and go, I think. Oh no, where's my deployed... No, my deployed set of guns can stay there to cover that breach. But I think I may as well just do things like this and drop... Drop trenches. Can I get anyone to cover them? Not to cover them, but to drop one of these just to slow down their cavalry as they run through. So they are all over there. Get these weak unit fragments into buildings. Oh, good, good quick lime shots. That's what we're going to need to do to stay competitive. And their reinforcements are coming from the rear. I'm doing some good work on my guns. That's something I'm going to need to do to maintain competitive, stay competitive. So as these guys run in, the Mandari horsemen. Sir. 
So they should run into this thing and die. In their droves. Good, and that slick cast shot and just keep them keep them rolling on firing. So they are gathering all their forces. Let's focus the fire of my howitzers onto that's a beautiful shot, if you get it in time. I missed it. Oh, that! It should have been absolutely devastating. Good, so that's made them rout at least. Everyone go for the Shinyoti Fangies that are trying to get in close. No, they may as well keep... Oh no, keep pounding up here where they're all... standing in delicious positions. Oh yes. because they will get a capture off on these uh, on this wall so let's get my fuse list to deploy stakes where are they going to shoot hopefully up here all those all these casualties but yeah as soon as they get a guy up on these walls they will have the they'll have they'll count as having captured the wall so No sense firing, may as well try to let them actually capture it first. Definitely want to try to take out the camel nomads. So they are going for the breach. They have the gate, but they're not going for it. Drop all your quicklime on that 
gap. Fire at will, fire at will, fire at will. To destroy the altar. Someone is going around the flank. Some bowmen. Let's run my cavalry out to hit the bowmen. No, they've got this this oh, they've got this one captured as well. Unlimber the guns. Want to aim up at the ground. There you go. Have them keep firing. So my guys shouldn't be hurt by their own by my own stakes. There you go, they just gently hop over it. So they're still engaging from regular units. To be honest, I need to, to, honest, I need to keep engaging regular units. There you go. I've got I've got two units of artillery down here to cover the door, so I can leave my house free to pick it. There are other forces. So here's some more of the reinforcements coming in. Is it? Nope. They've probably always been there. Until we stop firing, which is nice. So here comes a unit coming in from the flank. Line guards. Oh, can you hear that dog? I think my infantry guards going to get involved. So these reinforcements coming in from the rear. Nope, they're just... They don't want to get involved yet. Not while they've got infantry left. Let's just keep lighting them up. Some just regular junk units. Importantly, they've given me a chance to keep my howitzers working. Let's 
and garrison that barracks. I don't think the eye knows what to do. So let's get one of these units to garrison the barracks. Okay, now as they're not doing anything, I'm going to triple speed it. That's right, then climb down into the killing zone. So I'll drop my cavalry outside the walls. Did that unit of okay so they aren't getting in there okay cool there we go nice blockhouse for defense let's triple speed it again because yeah, he's not really doing anything. To be honest, I might bring these horses back in because the gate seems to be bugged. So I can keep access to it. Doesn't mean at a moment's notice I need to be ready to spin around and drop something to protect it. Okay, if they want to climb there, that's fine. Just keep, just keep quick lining their units, effectively just to make them route. Because I think that's what might end up having to happen. There you go. As they climb onto the wall, they'll be engaged by various units. Then I try climb onto the walls up here. No, they're not. They're going for the gate. Fully going on for the gate. Okay, so get them to hit that unit of musketeers because there's a load of them. Get them to go for that unit of musketeers because they are also fresh. Okay, I think they are just going to... They're just trying to go for a... Uh, The shot going in. Oh, wow! Absolute devastation. Quick climb is absolutely going to be my MVP. So, I'm not up to two, to two speed. We're getting the best of the fight at the minute. Okay, get both of my quick lane units to go for the general's bodyguard. Oh yeah, they are trying to get through this gate, but they're being engaged. Then they just have this gun. Let's see, why is it unhappy? Let's see, it's the ice pathfinding. I've got no one at ah, because this unit of bowmen is trying to charge my. 
You need a bowman to try and charge my unit of infantry. Maybe it is that pathfinding, trying to work their way around inside this. Seems they are being shot to pieces by guys around elsewhere. Time to hit them with canister shot. Yeah, one of my units is has routed and they have lost the building so switch to round shot and engage that house speeding it up again. Let's pair the efforts of both my units, of both my how much the batteries together to try and make, you know, if I can make a unit route, then I'll aim for another one, then I'll aim for another one, then I'll aim for another one. Work my way around that way. eventually I'm going to have to switch to round shot to engage some of the, the uh, more longer range targets. See, you're shaking, but you should be routing. Yes, I'm surprised about how well this has gone. But anyway, what I'm going to do, guys, is because nothing, nothing is really happening now, I'm going to uh, pause the recording and then uh, bring it back when something interesting happens. I know the bowmen have attacked here, but I don't have great hopes for them there. Yeah, so I'm going to pause the recording, and if they try a big assault again, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, I'll see you guys at the end of the battle. Just a sec, guys. Well, everyone, they decided against actually doing anything useful, so the victory is ours, and I'm determined to see how many kills those, um, how as they funneled in to try to get into the fort, they just got quick climb showers dropped on them, and the area effect of that is massive. 4,748 lost for 97 of mine. Holy moly. Oh, actually, Line Infantry got more kills. Huh, how surprising. Still, lost no men. 191 kills. Lovely. So I managed to push them back and it's knackered their reinforcement stack as well. Yes, you think twice. We are a western nation. We are... F no. I'm not sure I can deal with Spain down there. They're going to need a... Yeah. <laughs> oh, just if I saw that coming. You're going to get a clobber in Spain, you are. Yep, you're going to blockade away. Feel free. That army in southern, southern Central America is going to get torn up. And I absolutely am going to um, intercept them. Um, but looking at our timer, I think that's the end of this part. Because otherwise we'd have two huge defences at the same time. So thanks for watching, guys. And hope you enjoy the next part where I defend against a, a Westphalian siege with an actually a much more conventional force to do it with. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.